Hey Siri, open trunk. In today's video, we'll be checking out how you can control your Tesla right from your wrist. Now the Tesla mobile phone app is great as it allows you to control a lot of things in your car without actually having to walk up to it. But wouldn't it be nice if it could do the same without actually having to pull your phone out of your pocket? Well, that's exactly what we are checking out. Now there are multiple apps available for your Apple Watch, but the one that we'll be checking out today is called Watch App for Tesla. So the easiest way to get this is to navigate to the App Store either on your phone or directly on your watch and search for watch app for Tesla. Before we get too far though, let's talk about pricing. Now it's not a free app, but it is a one-time purchase, which is great as most of the apps these days tend to follow a subscription model where you pay a monthly fee. So it's great to be able to utilize the features of the app and just pay a one-off fee. So you're looking at a one-time fee of 12 US dollars or 20 New Zealand dollars. And in my opinion, the convenience that this app offers in return is well worth it. So let's dive straight into a demo of this app. After you've downloaded it, you'll be prompted to enter your Tesla account credentials, which then allows the app to receive the information about your car. But don't be worried as the devs of the app aren't actually receiving your account details. They're just essentially getting a token from Tesla that allows them to retrieve the details from your account. So it's perfectly safe to go ahead and sign in. After you've successfully done that, your car will now show in both your mobile phone app and your Apple Watch app. So let's walk through the Apple Watch app first. So on your watch, you can access the watch app for Tesla in one of two ways. You could either go to your app list and try find the icon, which can be a little bit fiddly. But what I like to do is add this complication on my watch face, which easily allows you to open the app. So just by pressing onto it, you can see I'm right in the app. So let's walk through some of the options on the screen. Right at the top, you'll notice the name of your car, and if I go ahead and tap on it, you can see further details about your Tesla, such as the odometer reading, your latest software version, and your VIN number as well. Going back to the main screen, you will notice the current battery percentage of your car, and if I go ahead and tap on it, you will see it reports the estimated range as well. Down the bottom, you will see quick toggles for controlling certain elements of your car. So the ones that show here by default are, is your climate control, opening your frunk and locking and unlocking your car. Scrolling down the bottom, you will also see that this app shows you any alerts that are relevant to your car. Things like if you walked away from an unlocked car or left your windows open. So this is quite handy. Scrolling further down the bottom, you will also see the outside temperature being reported here and also the inside temperature inside your car. And this can easily be adjusted and controlled right from within this app. You also have the ability to adjust your charging limit, just like how you would from the original Tesla app or from the car's infotainment screen. Now there's various settings available in this app that you can customize, but before I jump onto that, there's one more quick thing that I wanna show you, which is quite important. So if you swipe right, you essentially get a second page of different toggles that are available to us. There's quite a few things, but I'll be showcasing some of these today. Let's just step through what we have available to us. So there's an option of opening and closing your trunk, opening and closing your charge port, initiating the defrost function within the car, ability to turn on and off your seat heaters, enabling and disabling your sentry mode, winting your windows, looking at the current location of your car, and one of my favorites is the ability to flash your lights and honk your car, which is super handy when you're trying to find your car in a parking garage. And lastly, the compass feature here guides you to the right direction where your car is located. Let's now jump to the mobile phone app and show you some of the options available in there. Now on the iPhone app, you'll notice that the layout is very similar to the Apple Watch, which is quite nice to have that consistency. So I won't be spending too much time in detail on these controls as they're very similar to what you saw on the watch. Let's now jump to the settings inside the app, which once again is consistent with the Apple Watch. Now in here, the first thing that you will see is the ability to customize your experience. And I personally really like dark, which is what I've set it as. You can also customize the order that the controls show up in, which is quite easy just by dragging things up and down. You will also see that there's an option of toggling on an additional control row. So if I turn this on and head back to my homepage, you will now see an additional row appears for these quick control toggles. Another nifty little thing that I wanted to show you guys is that this app actually comes with iOS widgets. So you can see that I've added a widget here, which allows me to easily toggle on and off these controls without even opening the app. 
Now the really cool thing is that there's actually multiple sizes and types of widgets for us to choose from. And once again, you can select either the light or the dark theme for your widget. Now we come to by far the most useful feature of this app, the ability to add and customize Siri shortcuts. Now this is super useful as it allows you to perform any of the functions in this extensive list just by using your voice. So let's check out a quick demo. Hey Siri, open trunk. Okay, done, success. Hey Siri, close trunk. Okay, done, success. Hey Siri, open trunk. Hey Siri, close trunk. One sip. Okay, done. Success. So as you saw from that demo, using the quick control toggles on your Apple Watch app was pretty much instant without any noticeable delay. Whereas using the Siri voice commands did introduce somewhat of a lag. But in my opinion, the convenience that this offers is still totally worth it. What are your thoughts on this? Would you be willing to wait a couple of extra seconds to get that added layer of convenience? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now I know what you might be thinking. How much battery does this app drain? Well, the good news is the developer has actually thought about this and added a few options in the settings that you can change. So let's dive into these. So there are a couple of settings that you can change to help prevent your car from waking up unnecessarily, which will in turn help prevent battery drain. So by default, this app will ping your car every hour to fetch status updates such as your battery percentage. You can see I've changed this interval to five hours to reduce the frequency of these updates. If you don't need the most up-to-date battery percentage available at a glance, you can completely turn off background updates to save you the most battery drain. So to sum it all up, in my opinion, this app is worth every single penny. That's especially considering that new features actually keep being added to it over time which make it more of a value than it already is. If you have already tried this app be sure to share your experiences down in the comment below and if you found this video useful be sure to smash that like button for us. And until next time, stay charged!